Welcome to Veggie Patch Ideas. Today we're sowing spinach. Now spinach is a great crop, really good health benefits, and it's a superfood, so you know what's not to like. Uh, it's quick to grow, cut and come again, and it's just packed full of fibre, so it is that perfect all-round vegetable. Uh, you can grow, the, you can have two seasons of spinach, one from March onwards, and then one from this time of year, September, uh, onwards into winter. Now, you can choose any variety you want in March, they'll all grow very, very well. When it comes to winter, uh, if you do get very, very cold climate, so up north in Scotland, let's say, uh, you may want to look for a spinach variety like this one. Uh, spinach Gigante, so it's got bigger leaves and it just helps helps against frost damage, okay? Uh, you can also get them which are resistant to mildew, so if you're in a very damp climate, uh, the the seeds and the plants will be a bit more mildew resistant. So uh, choose your variety wisely. Uh, but if you are setting out and you're a, a, a beginner, anything will do. Uh, pop it in the ground and see how you get on. It's the best way to learn. Uh, we all learn by our failures and it makes you a better gardener. So kind of wins all the time. So let's get cracking. What I'll do, I'll show you how to sow it into seed trades first. And then I'll show you how to sow it into the ground directly. Uh, generally, if you've got polytunnel like this, you can pop it into reels, straight into the ground, watch it grow. Uh, I like a bit of an insurance policy on my spinach, so I sow it in two places. One in trays, and then the second one straight into the ground. Uh, if one fails, I've got another one that would have worked. Uh, Today I'll sow three varieties, I'll make sure you all three be sowing them, but uh, for my polytunnel and going into uh, the winter months, I'll sow three and see what works the best, uh, it's the best way to do it. Even though this gigantic one, Gigantor, uh, says it's going to work in winter, wasn't really good in, in the spring. Uh, to be fair, so let's see, let's see how it goes. Let's see how, how she fares uh, in the lower lights. Uh, I say I'm sowing it today. It is an absolute scorcher in the polytunnel today. Getting up to 80, so uh, it's warm. Uh, spinach will bolt if it gets too warm, so bear that in mind. If you're sowing it in a polytunnel, if you do get a bit of a heat wave or an Indian summer, take it out the polytunnel even in your seed trays uh, if you know they are small put it somewhere cooler and the heat of heat of day has cooled off then pop it back in okay with all that said let's sow some seeds what we'll do we'll fill the seed tray up and because we're in for a bit of a heat wave next week what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a full tray and not a cell tray and the difference is quite simply these are cells and this is a full one. The cell one will tend to dry out more, more quickly in a heat wave, whereas this one will hold the moisture a bit more. So this is the reason I'll do this and we'll go ahead and fill this up. Give her a tap. So now we'll go ahead and sow some seeds. These are really nice size, uh, and we'll just sprinkle them over uh, a tray like this. You can do 10, 12 seeds. And then prick it out as they grow up, okay? And then 
push them down gently. And move the soil over the top or grab a sieve and lightly sieve over the top. Pop a label in and by the way Graham thanks for the tip uh, one of our viewers uh, great idea with the tips use your old PVC blinds they're great for making these apparently so definitely give that a go and thank you again Graham so I'll pop my label in there and we'll give her a water okay so as you can see we're raking the ground now just make sure it is nice flat and even as you can see we're now making a rill just an old piece of wood it makes a divot around half an inch uh, deep into the soil perfectly straight it's a really great line to sow the seeds into and if you have a straight line of seeds it makes it far easier to weed so we sow the seeds thinly across the drill uh, as they grow and develop uh, you just want to thin these seeds out so sowing more is better for germination but as they grow thin the seeds out and now give them a soak Guys, don't forget to like, share and please subscribe. Uh, I need all the help I can get. Let's grow this channel.